Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. <clears throat> so, yes, I've been absent. I've been kind of working around the house, trying to get things ready for Thanksgiving. And honestly, just being lazy, kind of, because <laughs> it's the first time I've, like, not had anything to do. <laughs> so that meant no videos. I'm sorry. Um, however, I am uh, have a small Dollar Tree haul to share with you. And I will probably record another video tonight before bed. Uh, so, yeah. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around this spell. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, um, real quick. Um, I've had a couple comments about my video, my like recording, like things kind of like being close. In the next couple months, things will be changing. Um, I have to get a, a video capture card so that I can use my camcorder. And in all the chaos of moving stuff around, um, you know, because... We were going to move everything out and then move everything back in slowly, but then my son's friend moved in and anyway, stuff got moved everywhere. The battery to my Nikon went missing and the charger to my video camera went missing. So I'm hoping that they'll show up soon because I'm, you know, going through everything. Um, I know it's here somewhere. It's just finding it. So... Anyway, um, so that's that. So things will be changing the next couple months as far as my videos go. You'll actually have better, a bigger view. And those who've been around from the beginning no, um, noticed that I did have a bigger recording space because I used my Nikon, but I had limited recording abilities with it as far as I could only do like 15 minute snippets and then I had to paste everything together. But... Uh, enough with that. Let's get on to the Dollar Tree. So, I love fuzzy socks. And, yes, I live in Texas. But it does get chilly here and, you know, can't have cold pities. And I thought I would give these a try because my fuzzy sock collection has kind of worn through. Um, these aren't super thick, but... Uh, so they had these. They're called Snugadoo 2 Super Soft. So they had these ones. Then they had them in this red and, I don't know, maroon. And then this cute stripe one. And I thought these were adorable. Um, I don't normally get fuzzy stuff with animals on it. But they have cute little llamas on them. And, uh, so I picked those up. I may go back and see if they still have them because my daughter-in-law loves llamas. Or maybe I'll be a good mother-in-law and let her have this set. Um, I don't know, but. So there's that. And these are the kinds I really love. The kinds that, like, come up over your ankles. And these were the only colored ones I liked. Uh, I was really hoping I could find more in other colors. But the ones they had were kind of ugly. <laughs> so anyway, so there's that. So five pair of fuzzy socks. Then I love my husband to death. I love my husband. But that man cuts down the Amazon rainforest probably twice a night every single night. It's bad. <laughs> I know he has sleep apnea, but the military, they say no, he doesn't. I think that's a cock of crud. And I'm trying to nag the fool out of him to go get um, retested. But, y'all, I live for these guys here. Um, and they work. I have to use these every night or I don't get a decent night's sleep. And, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. I love him. He's lucky I love him as much as I do. <laughs> so I had to pick up some earplugs. I am always 
buying lighters there. I actually think they're a pretty decent deal. I get these ones for small candles and then I get the really long ones for the, you know, the deeper Yankee candles and wood wicks that I get at Tuesday morning. So, of course, I had to get these because, hello, they're pink. And these, I think I'm going to use at work. Um, we're having a Christmas contest at work. And um, <clears throat> it's by department. So, like, in our department, we have sub-departments. And so all the sub-departments are competing against each other. And we're supposed to create a float. I work in a big warehouse at the hospital. And our float is supposed to be our fa themed by our favorite Christmas song. To my knowledge, I don't think we've picked one yet. But uh, I f figure these could be used. So they have these stockings. They're felt stockings, and there are 12 in each. And then they have these Christmas trees, and I picked up three of those. And I figured um, I could put the name for everybody in our little area on each of these stockings to include on the float somewhere. So there's that. Then, uh, when I'm crafting, y'all know Karma likes to supervi supervise, and she knocks stuff off my desk, and normally if it's metal, I can't, you know, because my screwed up back, it's not comfortable. They had a magnetic pickup tool and it extends as a telescoping. So I figured, you know, for those either rough days or we'll just say lazy day, um, I'll keep that on my desk. I go through Sharpies like crazy. So picked up a Sharpie. Um, I had not seen these before. I thought I'd give it a try. Um, this is, they're called Pocket Aroma Traveler's Aid Personal Diffuser. And this is peppermint, spearmint, lemon, ginger root, and ginger root. And I love all those smells. And I think I'm going to go back and see if they have any more because... Oh, it actually smells pretty good. Looks like this. It's closed. You open it up and then you just squeeze it out and it just shoots little smellies at you. Um, yeah, so there's that. It says, um, oh, flip up nozzle on the lid so small. Hold nozzle opening one to two inches below your nose. Squeeze colored size to release natural essential oil vapors. Ooh, special. But for a dollar, I thought I'd give it a try. And then I thought I'd try this in my car. Uh, essential oil citrus pomegranate uh, on the go car spray freshener. They had some other ones. I think they had a lavender. Um, and I think somebody got into it before I could show it to you guys. Because I love lavender too. I do my laundry in Gain Lavender or the Moonlight something. It's purple. It smells so good. I am like a layering laundry girl like... My fabric softener has to match, my laundry detergent and the dryer sheets match, and my laundry crystals match. I like my laundry to smell yummy. I mean, I can't stand smelly laundry. Um, yeah. So this is this guy. I'm not going to spray it in my craft room. I'm going to, I'll try it in my car and let y'all know. Um, so there's that. Then, let's see, hold on, Urgh. okay, y'all know how uh, hooked I am on travel stuff, and they had some travel 
Bon Voyage washi tape. So I picked up two. It's got an airplane and an anchor. Um, and that's just what it is, and it repeats. So I picked up two of those. I thought those were pretty good for a, a buck a piece. And, of course, y'all knew if I could find more than the one, I would have grabbed them. But Flamingo Washi. Uh, this was the only one, or I would have grabbed a bunch. Because I can't have enough flamingos in my life. Anyway, so there's that. Then... Uh, for more organizing in the Ikea that I'm still working on. It was the first time that I saw these long organizers uh, in the store. They only had the three or I would have grabbed more of them. Uh, really great for pens and brushes and, you know, just uh, compartmentalizing the, drawer, the big drawers. And I have a ton of these and I love them. These are just little three compartment organizers with a lid. Um, I think they're great and I have a ton of them. So I picked up three of those. And then they had these guys, again, for the Ikea drawers. I hadn't seen this size before either. It doesn't really have a size on it, but um, I really like those, and I got five of those, and I I should have grabbed more of them, but I didn't, and I'm sure when I go back, they'll be gone. Um, I found, um, I usually have luck finding all the acrylic stuff at the big, the bigger Dollar Tree. Um, there's a big one over by the Tuesday morning I normally go to, uh, but the regular size Dollar Tree that's close to me, it, they rarely have any of this stuff in. So anyway, that, guys, I told you was small, is my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I have some more stuff to share. I'm going to try and record it and get it out tonight before I go to bed. And I may try and get another one recorded so it'll post tomorrow. Please don't quote me on that. Y'all know I haven't been kind of good at following through lately, but... Yeah, things are just busy these days. Um, trying to get the house in order. My daughter comes home from college on Tuesday. I'm so excited. I miss her to pieces. And, um, yeah, she just got a 97 on her recent exam. And she's got one more exam and she's done with this term. And then next semester is her last semester. She graduates in May. I'm so proud of her. She's worked really, really hard. And uh, she's also now on top of school and her clinicals. She's actually, the hospital she's at um, offered her a work study. So she actually gets to pick up extra shifts and make money. She's so excited about that. So I'm really proud of her. Super, super proud of her. And right now, she is volunteering at the Scottish Rite Children's Orthopedic Hospital in Dallas. Um, so she's up there last week, this week. And uh, so just volunteering, helping there at the hospital. So really super proud of her. But um, so anyway, yeah, that's it. Um, I will try and get a couple of videos out next week. Of course, y'all know it's Thanksgiving, so, so who knows, um, how the week's gonna go, but I'm gonna be making a conscious effort going forward, even with, you know, coming home tired. Um, my work hours aren't that much different, but my job now is so physical that I, I come home from work and I'm just like physically exhausted. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoy what I'm doing. Um, granted, I loved what I was doing before, but mentally, emotionally, I had to let that go. Those of you know the story on that. But um, I, I love the people I work with. Um, it's, you know, it's just... I haven't had a really, I guess, labor-intensive job for a while. 
And so I'm a little out of shape. Uh, however, on the bright side, I've lost another pound, which is a good thing. So hopefully I can keep that up. Uh, I'll be honest, I would love to get back under the 200 mark. It's been a while. Um, but those of you who know when your back is all screwed up and you can't work out and you sadly put on weight, which makes the back issue worse. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. You can't win for losing. Um... But anyway, I'm just rambling on now. Uh, again, I hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope you guys have wonderful things planned with friends and family this Thanksgiving. Um, I may or may not pop on. I'm happy. I'm thankful because I'm actually off for Thanksgiving. I volunteered to work on Friday. Um, I could have taken it off, but I volunteered to work. Um... But we'll see. Maybe it'll be a short day. I don't know. But all right, guys. Love you guys to pieces. Again, any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, a couple of y'all had, had asked me some questions in the past couple of videos. And I just haven't gotten back to you. But I will. Like uh, someone asked. You know what? I got it right here. Let me just do it now. And I'll go and I'll go and I'll comment on that video. But the B. Clyburn, uh coloring cat cards just so you guys know this cat here I worship this cat I have loved this cat since I was a little girl and those who know B. Clyburn know what I'm talking about they are unique they cat is always doing something mischievous or just silly and the artist died in the 70s uh, I, I want to say he was probably in Hawaii but um Anyway, I showed this and I didn't give the item number. Give me a second. <sighs> Although I had it tucked because I'd already opened it up. But the item number for this set is right there. 2213124. So I'm, I'm keeping my eyes out to see if there's more sets. Uh, the manager, Cindy, from the store I got this at said that there were more sets. But when I went back through, this was the only one. But anytime I can get my hands on B. Clyburn, I am all over it because I, I adore B. Clyburn. Uh, anyway, so there's that. And then there were some other comments. I have to go back and check and um, I will get back to you and answer. So, so yeah. All right, guys. Um, hope you have a great night and uh, love you guys to pieces. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.